strong fists for defending ourselves and opposable thumbs for work as fine as threading the needle hand specialization is widely believed to have given humans a major evolutionary advantage. On Tuesday, scientists in the United States and Spain said the human hand may be more primitive than that of our closest living cousin, the chimpanzees. In fact, human hands are likely more similar to those of the last common ancestor we and chimps shared millions of years ago. These findings indicate that the structure of the modern human hand is largely primitive in nature, rather than the result of selective pressures in the context of stone tool making, said a press summary from the journal Nature Communications, which published the study. In fact, it is the hands of chimps and orangutans that changed most since they split off to form new branches of the hominid family tree developing longer fingers, compared to the thumb, for swinging on tree branches. The human hand has a longer thumb relative to the other fingers than that of chimps and other apes allowing for what scientists call pad-to-pad -pad precision grasping, which simply means that our fingertips are able to touch. There is a widely held assumption among paleontologists that the last common ancestor LPA of humans and apes, an individual whose identity remains uncertain, was a prototype chimp with chimp-like hands. But a team led by Sergio Alma Sainja of the George Washington University Center for the Advanced Study of Human Paleobiology is challenging that. They analyzed the hand length proportions of humans, as well as living and fossil apes to draw a picture of the evolutionary history, and found the human thumb to digits ratio required little change since the LCA. The inevitable implication is that when dominance the extended human family excluding apes started producing flaked stone tools in a systematic fashion, probably as early as 3.3 million years ago, their hands were in terms of overall proportion pretty much like ours today, Alma Saija told AFP by email. Another important take-home message is that if human hands are largely primitive, the relevant changes promoting the emergence of widespread reliance on stone tool culture were probably neurological and not manual meaning it was our brain that allowed for adaptation. Any evolutionary model of human hand evolution assuming the chimpanzee-like ancestor will likely be flawed from the beginning, he added.